Bill Pullman at his finest. Hey, I'm Guy Branham and this is Bar Talk at JFL. I have in my hands a, an iPhone stopwatch. I'm going to give you 45 seconds to tell us your life story. Are you prepared, Pete Corielli? Yes. All right, begin. Grew up in Long Island, New York. Mom, teacher, dad, architect, brother, sister. Uh, played basketball, thought I was better than I was. Ended up going to D3 college. Uh, after that, got into, uh, liked beer a lot. Moved to New York City, thought I'd be an actor. That didn't work out, obviously. Tried that for 10 seconds, but I went to a- So you're just a, you're, you're just a failed actor. There's no like, it, it wasn't like a passion for comedy that was singing out in your no. heart from the first uh, day. Uh, it pause, was like, pause my time then. No, 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 no. You, you have to deal with- I always loved comedy. Didn't think it was something I would be able to do or that was in my realm. And then I got hooked up with this improv group as a comedian, uh -huh. and they let me stay at the comedy club after all. You're a former improviser, Pete? We did a five o'clock show, and then I watched the comics, and I fell in love. That's time. Oh. But I mean, that was a beautiful Ooh, good way of ending. Fell that was love. a beautiful way of ending. Yes, I fell in was. love. I, know. I mean, you want the sequel now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yes. I found my calling. That was very beautiful. Thank you. We, did we get to your wife in there? No, but that's okay. So, so no mention of his wife or his beautiful daughter. Oh, who's like, been with me forever, it, my wife has. Improv group, yes. Daughter, nothing. Oh. <laughs> my wife has been with me since my first joke. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine that, man? That's beautiful. It is. I mean, there's nothing harder than continuing to love someone after you've seen them at an open mic. Yeah. You know? Yeah, absolutely, man. I remember like four years in, I went to a job interview because I was so, f I'm like, I'm never going to make it. And my wife and I are in the lobby, I'm waiting for my name to be called. I'm in my Marshall suit with my tie. And she goes, what are you doing? You'll be, you, you'll never be happy if you do anything other than comedy. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's get the hell out of here. And I'm like, let's get out of here. That's a great yeah, moment. Yeah, it was like that Adrian like telling Rocky yeah. after the coma, win. We're going to play a game that we like to call Defend It. In this lime colored box are Bold statements, Pete. Oh okay. Boy. Oh boy. They are bold takes, and you have to defend them. All right. Are you Are you ready to do this? Yeah. What if I don't th 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 think that the, the word defend? You, you have to. Okay. Okay. You have to. All right. You cannot pass. All right. You are going to be a committed comedian here. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Boom. Right. Let's go. First one. The Beatles never existed. Uh, the Beatles never existed is right. It was just four dudes that barely liked each other that would go into separate rooms and record, and then one guy who was the manager would bring it all together and make it work, but they never existed. That movie was a documentary, the one about the Beatles not existing. I thought my uh, answer was great. It was a solid answer. I like mine better, because there's that movie out right now about how the Beatles never existed, but that one guy like remembered it. Throwing the cards, that's the I only reason we're doing I this. I do enjoy throwing the cards. <laughs> Barack Obama controls the weather. Uh, yeah, because people get so, they talk about him so much, arguing whether he was a great president or not a great president, that so much hot air floats up to the sky and causes a rain. A high pressure system. Yeah. I like that one. All right. Elderly people need to step it up and get jobs. Uh, yeah, either that or pass away. Because um, it's just getting crowded. It's getting crowded and they're living too long. I think they have a lot of talent. Betty White has done a lot of solid work. Oh All yeah, right. what have you seen since Golden Girls? <laughs> She was, she was in that movie about oh, a lake that had a large alligator or a shark in it. Oh, that yeah, that's right. Very good. That was also, good. She came on Chelsea lately when I worked there, and she was fucking slinging jokes. She like, was. She and Joan in like their 80s were still slinging jokes. Lake Placid. A lake Placid. Classic. <laughs> Bill Pullman at his finest. All right. All I, right. We can't beat that, Pete. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks, guy. You're a good man, brother. <laughs> Let me check it out. That's it. That's Bar Talk at JFL. It's over now. You can return to the other parts of the internet. Go watch porn, go argue about politics, buy some cryptocurrency, whatever you want to do. Howie Mandel here saying thanks for watching and please click on subscribe, share, enjoy. Do it now. I'm waiting. <laughs>